from nothing to something. Jadeja's road to success. It is hard to imagine India playing without Ravindra Jadeja in any format of the game. The all-rounder has cemented a permanent spot in the team regardless of whoever leads the side. Let the skipper be Mahendra Singh Dhoni, Virat Kohli or Rohit Sharma. Jadeja is preferred in a selection over other spinners due to his exceptional batting skill that makes him a potent threat for every opposition. But bursting into the international arena was not an overnight achievement for Jadeja, who dealt with poverty throughout his childhood. Jadeja was born into a lower middle class family where his mother, Lata Jadeja, spent most of her life working as a nurse in a government hospital. She had to chip in because Jadeja's father, Anirudh, did not have a stable job. He was always taking up odd jobs to support the family but never had enough finances to provide everything on his own. Jadeja was into cricket ever since he was a young schoolboy. He used to often come home crying his eyes out when his senior schoolmates did not let him bat. Watching the passion for the game in Jadeja when he was a mere teenager, Mahindra Singh Johan helped him improve his skills. Mahindra Singh Johan was a cop by profession, but he loved playing cricket in his free time. His love for the sport had inspired him to train young cricketers. Jadeja has recalled how strict Johan was as his coach. He even remembers being slapped by the coach several times, but Jadeja has nothing but respect and gratitude for Johan, who helped him learn the art of spin bowling. It was Johan who helped him deceive batsmen with flight while bowling left arm orthodox. Jadeja's performances in town-level tournaments were gradually giving him confidence. He was scouted by coaches who thought he was good enough to represent the country in under-19 events. Jadu was only 16 when he made his first under-19 appearance for India in 2005. He was selected for the 2006 U19 World Cup in Sri Lanka. India lost in the finals to Pakistan, but the all-rounder was impressive with his three-wicket haul. The major setback hit Ravi Jadeja when his mother died. He was only 17 back then. It was his mother's dream to see Jadeja play for the Indian team. Back then as a teenager, Jadeja was taken aback by the sudden demise of his mother, but he never quit his dream. Since making his ODI debut in 2009 and test debut in 2012, Jadeja had been a regular member of India's squad. He was preferred over other all-rounders not only because of his all-round abilities but his fielding too, which makes him one of the best fielders of the current era. However, things took a turn in 2019 and 2020 when injuries and burst of new spinners including spin duo of Kaldeep Yadav and Javendra Jahal threatened Jadeja's position in the team especially in white ball series. Selectors picked the new spinners and Jadeja was either benched or not picked in the squad. But his knack for bouncing back from bad patches has again made him a regular member of the team. Fast forward to 2021, he is a regular part of India's red ball and white ball squads and sitting pretty with a net worth of Indian rupees of 58 crores. He was part of India's T20 World Cup squad this year and seems to be in BCCI's plan for a long time.